us more or less like about how Denmark is so far how Denmark is and stuff there's one video which is just getting more more and more more view rates which I kind of like somehow but in the comments below I've realized the co the most com Denmark it's more about that and the most comments is as if yeah I'm a typical migrant how I got to Europe if I got illegal to Europe which is the best question well with um, yeah with Denmark so far is a country like I said it is meant to keep people happy you know uh, you know here in Denmark we go in the supermarkets we don't wear masks now pretty nice you know but I mean lifestyle let's talk about like the Danish women so I'm at the coast So far, now I want to talk about more traveling, about more the advantage and disadvantage now. Since we've got COVID, I have to put my hood, hood up because it's getting a little cold. I have a stiff neck. Yeah, the advantages and disadvantages these days traveling. Traveling around Europe is very easy and quicker. Europe is a very small continent so in now you know not everyone likes to be vaccinated I'm vaccinated now so last time when I was flying to Amsterdam I had a, yeah, I had a, a temporary stop like a stop over in Amsterdam like for 10 hours I don't really know what to do I have no clue first because I got so much time, so don't know where to go to first, what to start. Maybe I just get something to drink and then just chill. Maybe throw up my laptop or something, watch a movie. And we we'll see what, what we can do. We, let's do the best out of it. It's the adventure. So I was stranded in the airport, I was flying to Nuremberg. Yeah, and I was caught up for 10 hours at the airport. I couldn't go out in the city because if I went out to the city, I would have supposed to take another test for Nuremberg then. Then I would have been stranded in Amsterdam and who knows what would have happened to me. But now since I've got my vaccine pass, I'll have so much advantage. I'm not here to say to, say to anyone like um, get vaccine. I don't want to say that. If, do whatever you want to do. Do whatever you like. You know. But I just want to say it will. I'll get to Europe much quicker because sometimes I'll have stopovers when I fly. I actually live in Germany and I'm working in Denmark, so. I will have stopovers in future, maybe like in London, Amsterdam again, Stockholm. I've been checking on the flights where they make their stopovers sometimes. It depends on the price and stuff. So just in case I stop, make a stopover in London, I will just walk around London. We look at London. I've been to London before, 2016. I also made a vlog about it, but. Yeah, there are a lot of videos I actually deleted. There's a video, one of my first videos called why I deleted all the YouTube videos. There's a reason why. So if you have a chance, you're interested in this channel, check it out. So, but if it happens we are in London or in Stockholm, you will be seeing more cities coming up. Well, last time I, with Amsterdam didn't work out. So yeah, I uploaded other videos about Amsterdam. They are linked below. That was 2000, 
2019 when I was in Amsterdam and I had to also upload a video when I was 10 hours at the Amsterdam airport. After that it got boring but the next thing what happened to me I was probably pickpocketed in Amsterdam which was also not so good but I was lucky to get home because there were important things in my wallet those days but now I've learned a lesson if you, well when you travel you have to always be aware when you just in case you'll be robbed or something so if you travel around Europe don't feel too comfortable actually this is the video also this is about Europe you know I mean maybe in Spain people will know but if you're in central Germany don't feel too comfortable cities every city you go to is never safe so even in countries that are the most dangerous ones of course there you will be yeah you'll be paying more attention in 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 countries that are more dangerous but of course like in central Europe it's kind of like you're in heaven you know you can sleep with windows open and stuff but you still have to be careful things can happen yeah this is the video for you so far and I'm just going to add these clips when I'm talking with little pictures like videos in the background how yeah getting around Europe so far is my main goal the next goal will be like go to Africa or North America I don't know yet but it still takes time I'll still be in Denmark for a while and maybe go to Germany back to Germany again and then see what's coming next whoever is watching this video and give it a like it's up to you if you like this video give it a like what I mean is thumbs up of course subscribe to the channel there will be more content I'm trying to keep this channel alive as possible what's motivating me in this with creating more videos is since I've made this video being deported I'll talk 10 I'll talk thousand times about this video because it's more the highlight actually this video is getting more views and the most comments coming I know they are negative I haven't seen any positive comment about this video so far there is one positive comment so far but yeah this video is now more about advantages disadvantages so peace <laughs>